recording? How wonderful. Would you like to review the mirror again? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, we recorded a review for the mirror on a, another camera that did not work out, so we're back to our usual camera. Uh, the mirror. Uh, this one is about three friends who are filming this project to try to win a million dollars for a supernatural contest and they buy a haunted mirror that uh, is going to win them this money because it's haunted and uh, yeah. they're going to get footage of it by placing a camera in front of it and then one of them is affected by it so uh -huh. he starts wearing like a gopro strap to his chest so he has like a strap on on in the film yeah you could call it that sure yeah um and uh yeah things start to happen while the footage is being recorded and then found <laughs> found right, it's footage found footage yep uh -huh. who do you think found this footage the police <laughs> <laughs> good guess i'm pretty sure it says like the police in the beginning ah, it's always like totally law enforcement sure. discovered this footage sure anyway but the I, the movie is fine. I like the effects that are used towards the end, like the practical effects mm -hmm. for some of the gore. Sure. For a low-budget film, I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. And I think the acting from everybody is like, you know, it's good. Like, they feel like roommates living together. Flatmates. Flatmates, sorry, because they're in the UK. Flatmates, um, eh? <laughs> And, and there's one of the characters, we were laughing about it during the movie, there is this effect early on in the film where his eyes, <laughs> the actor has very big eyes, like yes, very yeah. expressive, and there's a scene where his eyes are kind of poorly CGI, CGI'd to look like red, like bloodshot, kind of, but it... CGI? Was it... Was Contact. It, no. There is Wait, one what? part earlier on that it looks like they put like a little like haze filter over his eyes mm. it happens pretty early on and it's not for a super long uh you know it's not on on screen for very long a haze effect yes well i can tell you that there was a point in this movie where his eyes are so red i think they used a blaze effect <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> probably. I don't know how else you'd get that. I think people like just started smoking weed and blowing it into his eyeballs. Is <laughs> they how like I... held them open and they were like... <laughs> like... So aggressive. I'm telling you, this guy's eyes were red. They were super red. So it was kind of funny, I suppose. I didn't like that part of the effects, but it makes sense for what the plot is and where things head. Um... I definitely was expecting more like mirror stuff from this without sure. giving away any spoilers. But Since it's called the mirror, it's called the know. mirror, mm -hmm. and I'm a big fan. I'm I'm freaked out by mirrors. I always have been. I've always been kind of afraid of my own reflection if I stare at it for too long, like uninterrupted, unbroken eye contact with yourself in the mirror always freaked me out. And so doppelganger stuff or like your reflection moving mismatched to your own your own movements. I find that stuff really creepy and there really isn't anything like that that happens in this film. Mm. Which is fine. I mean, they had their own story and I think everything that happens makes sense for the story they're wanting to tell. But I just was expecting more of the other stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah, I think it's, it's fine. I definitely think it has you know, a pretty good payoff in the end, mm -hmm. you know, nothing great, nothing crazy, mm -hmm. just kind of like, okay, that was, a, that was a decent conclusion. Um, unlike the hollow or hollow, which we just watched, uh, we're going to bring that up a lot. I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> that was bad. That was really bad. <laughs> well, it definitely wasn't the worst I've ever seen by any means. It was just boring. And it I think that's bad. like the worst thing you can be. Yes. This film, like, okay, for instance, in the in hollow there's like a lot of in couple fighting mm -hmm. and this movie and and that's really boring and and tedious and repetitive and within this one there's some of that for sure but we build up a relationship between everyone that's believable so that when things start to go awry like you care yeah. and like when the couples are fighting you're like kind of bummed and like oh like 
I hope they can figure this out. And that sucks that their relationship's sure. falling apart because of this stuff. But in the hollow, I just, who cares? Oh, yeah. I just it's, don't it's, care it's, at all. It's, it doesn't work at all. But in this movie, I think that they do a good job at building the relationships among everyone and then showing kind of the breakdown and the effect that the mirror is having uh, on everyone. Yeah. So. I don't know. Yeah, as you said, I, I think that when you have a premise like the mirror, you definitely need to incorporate the mirror into the film more. Sure. Right? Like, every horror movie I've watched centered around mirrors. Mm -hmm. And I've watched quite a few. Whether it's Kiefer Sutherland's the, uh, Mirrors or Mirrors 2 with that infamous scene of a dude who takes, I don't know, six hours to run across the city to uh, this guy's house to help him out. If you haven't watched my video on uh, Instagram on that, it is pretty funny. I need to post that on TikTok at some point because... <laughs> it, it's one of the most ridiculous scenes I've ever watched in my life. It makes zero sense. Um, or Boogeyman, which is a really fun film. Or Oculus, of course. I mean, there's a decent amount of mirror horror because, like her, there's a decent amount of people who are, you know, creeped out by their own reflection. And the mirror gag's been used in everything sure. from freaking Evil Dead 2 to like... Lock just, and it, key. <laughs> it goes down the line. Like yeah. the evil mirror thing and the doppelganger and the mirror uh, don't look away and all these movies where your evil presence lives in the mirror and Should talks be. to you through it and whatever. The don't look away is actually a pretty cool movie for that. Um, but yeah, this one just really doesn't utilize the mirror. Right. And it's like That's you could... just... A shame. You could just have a cursed object, like any other. Could be literally object. anything. Like um, anything. Yeah. But it the could fact be like it's a mirror. Amityville for the evil escapes with an evil lamp. <laughs> sure, you could have it be an evil it's one lamp. One of the dumbest evil looking fork. lamps ever. That movie is. This is pretty funny. We. I don't know if I could ever rewatch that, but <laughs> if we ever do it, I did the Amityville on the channel, like the whole series, and mm -hmm. man, I wish you were here for that because I don't want to do it again. We ever but man yeah but yeah not using the mirror was a missed opportunity it's the same as if you had like a a, a cursed or a haunted doll movie sure. and nothing happens with the doll at all like you kind of need like when you introduce it there are certain objects that people expect something to, to there's no with. focus on the mirror there and when the it. and when the movie literally is called the mirror you're expecting it to be at least metaphorically about the mirror. Sure. Like the way people reflect on themselves yeah. in society. Anything. But the mirror is is literally nothing in the movie. It's just, it's a it's, conduit yeah. like Annabelle, right? But it, it, it serves no purpose in the film. Like Oculus, everything is about the lesser glass, yeah. right? Like everything. The whole movie's centered around the mirror. Yes. You know, that's the movie that should have been called The Mirror. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. So, I don't know. It, it's but fine. It's, it's fine. It's, yeah, it's, it's fine. It's okay. It's nothing yeah. worth rushing to. Um, but, I don't know. It's worth a watch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, as I said. It's like a soft like, recommendation. It's a soft rec. It's like a, we didn't hate it, but we didn't love it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But we're not blah on it. We're like, it was good. I'm like, like lukewarm. Yeah. Like that's kind of what it is. I'm a little blah on it. Like it's, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Soft recommendation. Yeah. That's that. That's that. When you make a movie called The Mirror, make it about a mirror. Bye. Bye.